What's up everybody, it's CJ and I'm back with a new furnishing series. So I'm in a new world that just came out. It's called Pleasant View and it's by Boring Bones. He actually asked me a while ago if I would be willing to furnish the lots for this world. So the world, as far as I know, I haven't really looked. I think I'm gonna probably do a world overview for it sometime this week so we can see all the lots and stuff, but I'm pretty sure all of them are completely empty. So I'm gonna have to try my best to furnish all of these lots and y'all, there are a lot. I mean, the world itself isn't really that big, but there's a lot of empty houses, so prepare for a lot of videos in the series. So the house that I want to start off at is this one over here. This is a starter home. I usually like to start with the starter homes first. I don't really know about y'all, but whenever I move into a new Sims 3 world or whatever, I like to try to find a starter home because, you know, we can always cheat the money for a nice house, but sometimes I just like to kind of play the long game. I don't really like to always cheat money, so I try to always find a starter home. This world luckily has a couple of them and this is one of them now this one is a little bit on the pricey side we only really have six thousand simoleons when you move in and on top of that everything is completely empty so i need to literally find a way to furnish this house for six thousand simoleons i think it's possible but we're gonna probably have to cut some corners somewhere thinking like maybe using some free flooring maybe some free wallpaper or some really cheap wallpaper now as far as i know i pretty much have free range to furnish these lots i don't think i have really any build restrictions or anything like that and i'm not really Really sure about what packs you're gonna need for the world i tried looking it up but it didn't say and i think eric said that he doesn't remember what he used for the world either so i'm gonna try my best to just kind of make this house look nice and try to fall within that budget because i don't want to have to cheat any more money so i think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on some testing cheats and i'm gonna turn on buy debug because i need some debug lights i'm telling y'all buy debug lights go a really long way so we're just gonna put some of these in maybe every room of the house just so we can at least see what's going on. I might put another one back here, maybe like a smaller one, maybe like back here in this little space for right now. I do just wanna like change the pitch of this roof a little bit by making it go down ever so slightly just a little bit like that so as for the inside like i was saying we're gonna have to cheap out a little bit so i'm gonna go over to the wood category and if you didn't know the first couple of like wood tiles that you see are usually the free ones i think like literally all of these are free so literally you can just place these down and the game doesn't charge you any money so i think that's probably what we're gonna have to do luckily for me i kind of already have edited some over the years so i have like some custom looking ones so like they're still free but they just don't really look like you know the other free ones you know so we're gonna probably use these for the bedrooms so i'm thinking honestly we can have a kitchen be back this way maybe in the corner a living room somewhere around here the bathroom can be in the middle maybe this can be like an office space or it could honestly be like a nursery maybe an office space i don't know and then we'll have these two be the bedrooms so maybe one of these bedrooms could just be the nursery then yeah so we'll have like a bedroom a nursery maybe a home office or something like that so now we need to probably figure out the actual light situation so by debug lights are cool but i feel like you always kind of need like actual lights you know and since we're kind of on a budget of like free basically i'm gonna try to get some really cheap lights lights starting out maybe like these from ambitions and then if we have more money later i can go back and like change them and swap them out maybe i'll do like a combination of those and maybe like these we also have free wallpaper in the game as well but i think this might be one of the few things i actually spend money on because the free wallpaper that we have is nice enough but it's very like industrial looking and it's like wooden and it looks kind of run down and i'm sure you can like make it look better with the creative style tool but i just don't really want to have this on the walls you know what i'm saying like i think we can do a little bit better okay and then like the only other free wallpaper that we have are like these and then there's also like this one so you know i think we can splurge a little bit at least for the wallpaper just a tad bit you know so i was thinking that we could either do a wallpaper like this that has like the three different sections we have like the top border the middle piece and like the wood piece at the bottom usually this is kind of what i want to go for when i do like houses i just i don't know why i just like wallpapers like this because they just look so practical does that make sense it just looks so like basic but in a good way i might use this here and then we can use like a wallpaper like this with just like the one border for like the rooms maybe i'll put this in the bathroom as well just so i can make sure that we have wallpaper in there and then later on we can always just edit it and stuff so i don't really know what color scheme i want for the inside of this house because like the outside is kind of like a brownish 
beige kind of color and it has like the burgundy roof so we can kind of have like some maybe burgundy accents for the inside do you think we should make the wallpaper burgundy i mean that's not so bad i do kind of like that a little bit okay let's try to figure out the countertop situation so we're gonna probably have to use like the cheap of the cheap y'all these aren't necessarily my favorite countertops but they're cheap and we're on a budget so yeah we're gonna get the base game stove the base game fridge obviously i think what i might do though is we'll have one be here beside it and then we'll have the stove be here. I kind of want to buy at least one more of these, but I'm going to wait just so I can make sure we have enough money for stuff. Now, as for like the floor, I do want to see if we can get some tile. I like to do stuff like this because it kind of separates the space. So like, I'll show you what I mean. So for example, if I get some tile, let's just use this one. For example, if I get this, I can kind of like map out a little section. So like the kitchen can kind of be separated from like the living room and the hallway. And it just kind of helps it all kind of feel a little bit different. I don't really know what tile i want you think i should use one from late night that's usually like that my go-to tile anyway so i might just use that if i had a little bit more money i would use a fence to kind of like just draw a little border right here but kind of like on a budget so i don't think i can really do that <laughs> what i can do though is at least change the color of the countertop so i think i want to go for a brown all right so next up is the door i want to make sure that i copy some of the colors from like the wallpaper just so the doors can kind of blend in some okay now that we have that out the way we have four thousand simoleons why don't i try to get the things that i know for a fact that we're going to need like for example we need a bed i feel like this room is bigger which one is actually bigger I, I, maybe this one is no can we have the double bed be here in the middle of the room you know what we're not gonna have enough space for a double bed i don't think the rooms aren't really that big and i don't really want the double bed off to the side because sims can't scoot like they can in the sims 4 so i'm thinking like single bed i'm thinking single bed maybe like crib in the other room <laughs> Okay, so we have crib, bed. I would like to have a desk for the office space, if it's possible. We can get like a cheap desk. Actually, maybe one that's a little bit cheaper than that. This one is like 10 simoleons cheaper. Let's get that one. I don't know if we can afford a computer, but I'll get a chair. Mm -hmm, maybe like a nice chair like that. That's 165. Y'all, we're down to like 3,000 simoleons. <laughs> okay why don't we go to the bathroom real quick because i just need to make sure that i have stuff for the bathroom you know i need to make sure the bathroom is taken care of so for the bathroom let's just make sure that we get the essentials you think we should get like a tub that's 500 how much is the shower oh never mind we're gonna shower shower is only like 400 we'll get a really cheap sink to go beside it and then we can get like a really 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 cheap toilet bathroom is technically done okay now we just need a little bit more okay why don't we try to get the stuff for the living room so i kind of wanted to get a tv in here you know Oof. i didn't want to use this one i wanted to use the one from generations but mm -mm. we might not have that in the budget i fear we can get a chair and then maybe like another chair to go like here i want to make sure that i have a rug i don't even know what one to use this one is actually cute it's only 100 simoleons i actually like that one let's see if i can like maybe move this around so it can kind of make a little bit more sense we could have like the couch be back this way we'll have that be there we kind of have like the necessities already i just want to make sure that i also get a dresser for the bedroom since i'm getting all the necessities Ooh, should i get this one it's only like 300 let's get this one for 300 <laughs> actually i kind of feel like the nursery could use this one i feel like this room is bigger though like looking at it from this angle this room looks a lot bigger than the other room let me just see something real quick can i not put a double bed in here i feel like a sim should be able to get around both sides of that can i test it out real quick i want to see if elliot can come in here for a second also i don't know what's going on y'all i literally just placed elliot down in this world and he has the super juiced mootlet i don't know what that means <laughs> I don't know what Elliot's been up to. Okay, can I have you relax for a second? Oh, so you can't get into the bed at all? Can you relax over here? No, he can't get into the bed. Okay, so it's not going to be possible. The only other way I know is to do something like this, and I just don't want to do that because he can't get into the bed. So unfortunately, I was right. We're going to have to do like a single bed. Maybe we could just make this one his bedroom because I just feel like it's bigger. And the nursery can be over here, I fear. We have a thousand simoleons, y'all. I wanted to see if I could get some carpet for the office space. Do we have like any cheese? free carpet i don't think we do y'all i think all the carpet costs money okay that's 36 maybe the nursery can also have carpet i want to make sure that i'm done in the living room we might can get like a plant and maybe a lamp well you know what maybe we can save the lamp for the nursery because we do need some clutter in there don't really know if we can really afford to get any other cheap lamps in here really so maybe i should just stop there's this one i don't know if that one's gonna be better or not and we could put it behind the chair just to have something there and maybe we can recolor it later do we have enough for a coffee table this one's only 90 simoleons this one is 185 let's get the 90 simoleon one we can use this as like an end table beside the bed i fear <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Um, I think the living room can be done. Maybe a plant, and then we can like call it. Honestly, this one wouldn't really be so bad. That could kind of work in the corner. Oh, you know what? I just realized, y'all. We don't even have a bookshelf in this house. This one is like usually my go-to bookshelf. We could just squeeze that in the office space, you know, just to have something there. Guess we can get a sink for the kitchen. You can cook on the corner piece. We do need a trash can in here, so we get like a little cheap one in the corner. Let's move on to the bathroom next, cause I do need to recolor the wallpaper in here. I feel like we need to have a window or something in the bathroom. Maybe just like a small one like that wouldn't really hurt just to kind of like have a little bit of light or something in here bathroom is looking really bad y'all <laughs> i'm gonna be honest the bathroom is looking very empty if i'm being honest this is a starter home i feel like starter homes are meant to just be made to kind of get you started you know like you have everything that you could need starting out and then like as you earn money you can have more stuff so like maybe the fact that the bathroom looks kind of empty is not a bad thing or maybe i'm just saying this to make myself feel better I'm not really for sure <laughs> i'm not really entirely sure yet can i maybe afford some toilet paper I I would love to get like a towel rack but i don't know how much money that is i think it's like a hundred something simoleons and i don't think i want to spend that much money right now on that so maybe like a little plant in the corner wouldn't be so bad for the bathroom okay bathroom is done we have 300 simoleons left we could kind of go for like a greenish color i'm kind of inspired by the bed sheet i don't really know what to make the bed sheet i mean we could go for this and kind of just play around with the color wheel some i do like the wood tone for the nightstand but we could go for like a metal just to kind of make it shiny uh, I don't know if I like that. Never mind. I don't like that. Let's just go for the wood. That looks good. Oof. Y'all, we don't have enough money for a dresser. We could get rid of the nightstand to just have like a little one in a corner back here. That might be a little bit better, you know? And then like we could always get like a different nightstand. Like this one is only like 50. Y'all, where did the money go? We have no money for nothing. I don't know if there's anything that I can delete outside the house, y'all. Maybe like this bench. I like it. It's cute. But like, do we really need it right now? Maybe if we have money left over, I can replace it with something. But see, now that we have 300 simoleons, that can go a long way with furnishing, right? Because the nursery is pretty much done. I just need to like recolor everything. You know, the bedroom is a little bit more important. We could have like a rug in the bathroom and then maybe like a little rug over here we could also get like a chair or something in here okay why don't we move on to the nursery so for the nursery i'm thinking we can go for like a leaf design in here i'm gonna try to play around with the wallpaper but i'm thinking like earthy colors that's kind of like the vibe i'm getting from the whole entire house just very earthy and natural and then maybe for the floor we could make it a green color or actually like the brown wasn't really that bad and then for the crib of course we're gonna change this do you think we should have like the matching pattern for the crib like should it have the same falling leaves oh, we do have like some other leaves but we could use like the same i don't know if that's like too matchy matchy that might be too matchy matchy we can do some other stuff like we have like birds the birds could be kind of cute for it yeah maybe the birds the birds look nice and then like for the dresser the big dresser in, a, in the nursery <laughs> we could kind of like maybe make it this watch it kind of like blends in with everything else in here and then for the lamp i kind of want to just make this green we could move this lamp maybe like beside the crib do we have enough for like toys or anything we could get a toy box which is the cheapest one that's 60 this is 55 i think it's time for the cheap toy box y'all i never use this one ever but i think it's time for the cheap one <laughs> We kind of need it, I fear. And maybe like a teddy bear. This one is 50 simoleons. Maybe like a teddy bear. We could just put another mirror in here just to have something on this wall. And I think that might actually be it for this room. There's really not much more we can put in here. So the only other room that we have to worry about is the home office. So for the wallpaper, I was thinking we could kind of continue that like earthy kind of like neutral kind of color scheme. Maybe this one could be a little bit more like burgundy-ish. Like the wallpaper over here and then like for the carpet we're gonna probably go for some darker carpet in here maybe like a carpet that's kind of brown ish kind of like that i'm gonna recolor the bookshelf ever so slightly i want to also make sure the desk kind of matches with the bookshelf in a way and then we'll do the same thing for the chair we don't really have a lot of money we only have 84 simoleons left and there's not much that we can really do with 84 simoleons we could try to like clutter up some spaces a little bit maybe like put like a little plant over here on the desk but you know what y'all i think on that note that's pretty much everything for this entire house i mean we're out of money we only have 59 simoleons i don't really think that we can afford to get anything else in here so i guess we'll do a quick look before we go <laughs> so again if you didn't see the outside of the house this is what it looks like the only thing i changed was like the roof i just kind of pitched it down a little bit but once you open up the inside when you come in we have a nice living room section over here i really like 
like it. I love the rug. I love the chairs and stuff like that. I will say though that this rug is store content. I think that might be like the only store content that I used for the entire build. I think we also have a plant. We have a lamp going over this way. I did get rid of that other light that was over here because I felt like we really didn't need it that much. But over here though, we have a nice kitchen, no table, but you can always just sit down over here and eat, you know, moving on over this way, we have the office space. So for the office, I just kind of made this. So like if you have a computer or something, you can kind of like set it up in here, but this also could function as like another bedroom, you know, but we have a desk and we have a bookshelf and then moving on over this way, we have our first bedroom. So this is like where Elliot is going to sleep. So we have a bed, a chair, his dresser and a nightstand. And then over here, we just have our bathroom. Very small. I did add a window in here just to kind of have some natural light, but you know, that's pretty much everything for here. <laughs> and then over here, we have a nursery and the nursery also has a mirror just to kind of have something on the wall. And then we have a dresser and then we also have a little toy box and a little Dexter bear toy. So I did kind of splurge out a little bit for the kids room, but in all, I think that's pretty much everything for this house. So I am going to be leaving this house link down below if you want to download it. I am going to also leave a link to the world if you want to check it out. But if you don't want to look at it just yet, I am going to be doing a world overview for this world sometime this week. So if you just want to like wait for the world overview, feel free. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for this build, y'all. So yeah. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below. Follow me over on Twitch where I stream a lot more of The Sims and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.